Good evening and welcome to Millennial Money Management M3 and I'm here with my co-host Chaz Jenkins. What's up brother? Hey man, good, good. How are you? I'm good. Happy holidays. Uh, holidays. Yeah, I know. I said holidays. I didn't want to be. Yeah. Yeah, mine's is like <laughs> six, six plus, put it that way. But uh, it's all good. But we wanted to do a millennial uh, money management by the end of the year. We were sporadic back and forth with a couple of issues throughout the year, trying to see where millennials were, what we were looking at. Uh, we did some overseas. Uh, if you would have wanted to go that um, alternative type job structures. But we want to end the year with a, a couple of uh, a couple of topics that we think should be spoken about um and we've talked to a couple of people that uh kind of looked at that as well and going into the new year but um one thing um what a bail starting with cost savings um mm-hmm. you know when you got your money we saving money and we're trying to do some things mm-hmm. um but how do you make it fun? What What is your objective this year, Chaz? If you say, yeah. you know what, I got some money. I'm trying to build on some shit. I've done some good things this year. And this is why I want to do this episode now. Okay. So on the previous episodes, you know, we talked about layoff. Um, got another job after that. Then got another job. Not to mention, in the middle of all of that, went to China for like three, four fucking weeks. You know, it, it's this year has been kind of uh you know very just hasn't been typical so i hasn't haven't had my typical normal routine in terms of you know my savings and all that shit so um um i i think this just goes back to when i was younger and i guess the you know we use the word adulting you know what i'm saying like <laughs> like i've been fucking adulting for a long time man right i think uh i I want to use the word fatigued a little bit because I'm like, you know, like being responsible takes a hard. lot out of you, don't it? And, and especially when you talk about things you need to, you know, to build wealth, mm-hmm. you know, build like, if you just, if you come from humble beginnings and yep. first, I'll just say first generational, if you just want to be the first generational, um, you know, foundation of wealth building, you know, you got an X percent of savings. You have to have your, your 401k has to be, you know, really good, a, a really good percentage match. Mm-hmm. Of course, you have to have your own, outside of that, your, your own um, uh, investments. Your life insurance needs to be good, but you can't have the dumb life insurance. You got to have the one that has the cash value that yep. you can actually use versus just paying a premium for, you know, 50 years. Yeah. Um, so, you know, there's there's all these things, and it's just like the the reality of it is people can say, you know, just save for, um, save for fun, save yeah. for this. But there's so much fun to be had. There's so many gadgets to be had. So you know, let's let's be honest with it though. I mean, we've been talking about a lot of things to how you should invest, uh, mm-hmm. get the right insurance, make sure you have the right credit card that you get things from. But if you establish that and you had that established, why wouldn't you not? I don't want to use the word splurge. But why would you not, as hard as you work, get something that you can enjoy? I mean, my thing is, what what is that? And how often can that happen? I mean, shit. I want to take a trip to New York, Cali, all these places, like, every other week. But right. I, I I just realistically can't. But so it, really, it's, it's a called cost. a budget, though. But uh, it's, it's, it's a budget, but how often can I engage in these things? How often can I, like, I, I guess use splurge means i'm doing a purchase i don't normally do so well, how often can i do that versus you know it's just for example like right now i eat out a lot mm-hmm. and um it's something we talked about and i just quite frankly um i just want to make sure i just do the minimum you know i'm trying to just be the best professional i can at work right so i'm just trying to really focus on that but now i'm like okay i'm getting stabilized in a new job so i can at least try to tackle the low hanging fruit, which is, you know, cooking for myself and all that, all that shit. So is, I guess all I'm saying is, um, is, is really easy to say to, you know, you have to do these things. And quite frankly, it is when it's automated, Right. but on the, on the flip side, man, 
Like, you know, I when I was younger, I I I don't think I understood what a midlife crisis was. And, and I'm not saying I get it now in right. terms of making rash decisions, mm-hmm. you know, just doing crazy shit. But I think I'm more empathetic to, because when you feel that stagnancy, man, you, you, you know, there is a need to, to fill that void. So and I don't mm-hmm. think it's a crisis. I think that's just anxiety. Well, no, it's. I'm not saying that's where I am, but mm-hmm. I'm saying I just. Are you saying for the midlife crisis or just in general? People well, just want to. So in general, when you try to do the right thing and you mm-hmm. try to do the adult thing, you get a <clears throat> sense of an anxiety. Like, God damn, this is fatiguing, and you know how much do I need to be doing this when I yeah. want to <clears throat> do these other things? I mean, and to be fair, it's like if you don't have at least what, well, like, we'll just say. You know, we'll just do five, five, five. This is five thousand dollars in savings, mm-hmm. five thousand, and um, we'll just five thousand. Hope you should have an HSA, mm-hmm. you know, health health savings account, so you so, can fucking use the money. So and then, why would you five, use that though? Why Why do you need that? Health savings? Just yeah. you just never know. It's basically insurance. So you're just saying on top of your insurance policy. You never have to come. You should never have to come out of pocket for any medical expenses. Right. So, so in other words, your medical is taken care of. You have liquid savings, mm-hmm. and you have five thousand dollars in stock or some sort of financial instrument. So if I don't have five, 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 and, and at least those, then I sh- I shouldn't be complaining. I should just be working until I have that. I don't have that right now, mm-hmm. but it's still like man. I mean, work is work. That's right. why it's called work. It's not. It's, it's, it's not, not called fun. You know, yeah. So it's kind of like, okay, where can I get in fun? You know, because we did the episode about strip clubs. This is yeah. like, so like, sometimes you just want to go to, you know, just go there or but go to New Orleans. You, you, I want to go to Bourbon Street. You went over my main thing, and you mm-hmm. glossed over it lightly. But I'm gonna go back to it. It's called budget, dude. If you say I didn't get to my five thousand, but I budget to get to five thousand. Mm-hmm. Your other cash that you have available, that's what you got to look at. And when you said, well, you know, I'm eating out a lot. Well, that's a problem. Um, mm-hmm. Me, no, I, I stopped eating. I stopped eating out because my doctor says, you know, if you want to get rid of your pot belly, you eating a lot of bullshit when you go out. Now, Watch what happens mm-hmm. when you stop eating out all of these. No, I, I will say, yeah. I will say just for just for vanity purposes, mm-hmm. <laughs> I've been doing like a lot of uh um, my favorite right now is Jimmy John's. I just yeah. get the veggie. Okay. The veggies on like that nice. It's almost like a, the French bread. Um, oh, yeah. They do like a you know the avocado, you know cucumbers. Like it's just a, it's a nice tasty sandwich. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm actually you no, know, I'm really good with. I try to you know eat like a nice. If I eat out, I mm-hmm. try to do vegetarian or something like that. In well, fact, that's a smart mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We can get to the dieting in particular but in terms of eating out i know it's a thing and i've just it's one of those things where i'm like fortunately i can survive i put myself in a position where i can just afford to do it mm-hmm. but i would i would save even more not doing it so, so back mm-hmm. to the budgeting concept so yeah. if you say i'm i'm not able to do it it's because you you're choosing not to do it because, and that's kind of, yeah. and that's and that's what i'm getting at with the with the stagnancy thing is just kind of like man i want to I want to hang out a little more, go out a little more, drink a little more, have, you know, do a little more things. So I think, you know, I'm, you know, it was, it was a, and I I think it just came to a head to where, you know, we talked about this in the last one with Will, Mm -hmm. Um, you know, after the layoff, I was just kind of standoffish because, you know, I was a little uptight and, you know, it it was just because it's like, well, then you just try to try to do everything right. Mm hmm. And, you know, shit can still go sideways. Oh, absolutely. And I, think, and I think now I'm just at peace with the whole, you know, just I'm I'm more of a professional than what I was just just due to work experience. Mm-hmm. But more work experience is relative. This is more so just being in different organizations. But, I think that in itself. Right. But so the good thing that you have is you are working. That's the first thing. The second, that's level one. Yeah, that's yeah. that's level one. The second thing is. You still got to make a decision what you want. Now, you can say, I want to do these things. I want to travel. I want to do all of that. So now you're saying, what am I putting aside? 
So if I want to be a responsible adult, I want to enjoy myself. Mm -hmm. So it's okay to say I want to enjoy myself, but when things come about and you saying, well, I should have done that, you got to balance that. There's a time that people, what is it? When you're eating something, to your point, I'm eating vegetables, vegetables, vegetables. And then when it's time to eat some meat, you eat eating meat like a fucking scavenger or whatever. You're just eating it all because you, you deprive yourself. So when right. you deprive yourself of all of these things of saying, I want to start doing this, if you do it exclusively, you're taking away too much. But right. If, but if you say, I'm going to take away, my 401k is automatic. That's, that's just what it is. Mm -hmm. My other things aren't automatic. I have to consciously do that. I got you. That can be put on the back burner because you have that choice. And then you already have automatic deductible things that you never need to worry about because that's already budgeted. You don't even see that. Those are stuff mm -hmm. that's just going. So that's right. just, that should never be part of your bam, I'm 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 doing so much. No, that's that's already done. It's the additional like I want to get some stocks. I want to, you know, I want to get some other things I want to invest in. And that's you have to do that to build wealth. Yeah, but you know what, how, what is your plan for wealth? Some people say I want plan you know, for wealth before you know I hit forty five. And that's and that's I have a very aggressive, like I'm I, I did my little automated thing. And I was like, yeah, you got a uh, I got a little message. The pop up was like, yeah, you got like a three four thousand dollar per month gap if you <laughs> if you want to retire like in ten fifteen years. Right. Because I just wanted to see what I, you know if I want to retire in my forties. What what would I you know what would I need? Mm -hmm. And to be honest, I'm I, I I think a part of me just knows that you know at the end of the day, work is work. And, and uh, I don't know how married I am to, um, to, I want to be careful how I phrase it. I'll just say, I'll just say it like this, you know, with the writing thing, mm -hmm. you know, table reads, uh, you know what? I forgot to send you a link so you can listen before the podcast because we put some on YouTube so you can hear some of the work, but, okay. um, you know, we've been doing the table reads and in fact, we're going to have one coming up this weekend. And, um, it is like, I just feel like, you know, that's probably, I see myself segueing that way soon. And I just feel very confident in my ability in that arena. So that's a, that's a good thing of changing your direction of just working. You know, uh, at least on the at, side, yeah. on the side, you but, know what I'm saying? But even on the side, you, you have to invest in that. And you you starting to say, I want to invest in that. Well, fortunately, it's time. Right. So the question is, hopefully I can be productive as possible in the hours of nine to five. So after that, you know, I can just devote to, you know, ideas and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, that's kind of where I'm at, because I'm just thinking, like. Getting paid every two weeks is just like, man, I'll just, okay. So here's, here's my little, here's one little anecdote. Mm -hmm. Um, redbubble.com. I have some stuff on there. I think it's like CJ, the artist, whatever, whatever. And there's like, out of all of my pieces, I have like one art piece that people really love. And there's like one t-shirt design that sells a lot. Mm -hmm. And I just love seeing, you know, it was like $2 here, $3 there. I get like a little percentage and I just get reminded constantly of like how much better it is to get paid that way versus, you know, the every two weeks. No, I guess like something about the every two weeks thing is just, is, is just, I don't know. So that, I don't, but you, you said it, that's work. What you're doing is you getting paid for your creation. So that's more gratifying. Like it's a, like that's it's some gratifying more, to me. I guess because it feels it's like an unlimited potential. Yeah. Because it's like, well, work is you're you're paid for the time you did. Mm -hmm. Whereas for, if it's money from your services, it's like, wow. And so especially if you do one thing, you know, if you spend one, two, three, four or five hours doing something and exponentially make money off that thing, you know, forever. Right. It's just a totally different, you know, value proposition. And and I use the word gratifying is because when I do the things that I love to do other than my weekly deal, 
I feel some gratification of what's being created. And if, mm-hmm. even sometimes I don't get paid, you know, like the podcast, but when I create and edit and, you know, designs and stuff like that, and I may sell it, I may not. A person say, wow, I didn't believe that this can be created like that. I get satisfaction and mm-hmm. the value of it isn't like, well, I'm paying you $5 for this. They'd be like, look, you get $30 an hour. That's the going rate. You gave me a quality piece of work. If they call me back, they do. If they don't, they right. don't. But I feel that gratification that this is something that I do other than getting up in the morning and going and get that paycheck every two weeks. Yeah, like, yeah, being a square, like that's the phrase that some people would <laughs> use. But yep. being a square, that's what I guess, uh, uh, like right now, I'm, you know, I'm in this mode to where um, I guess I'm frustrated with square life. And, but I know on one hand, this is like the, it's a, it's a classic high school story mm-hmm. or just a, the young 20 story of, you know, like guys, the cool, you know, just like 10 years later cool guys where they at the nerds where are they Mm -hmm. most usually the nerds are you know successful making money and then the women who chase in the cool guys when they're young wish they would have chased the nerds because they got the money because they're stable you know what i'm saying so it's just like a it's more of a security thing and you know to me both of that sucks like the nerds make me sick and the cool guys make like i'm i'm such a <laughs> like everybody makes me sick so because it's just like there's no satisfaction either way so you it's, it's basically what you're saying is nice guys when his last by default because there's nobody else in the race at that point otherwise the cool guy who actually went to school and is whatever he's the first choice and then you know, you know, like you get just high level. You get my point. It's just no, I I, I get yeah. That, the but... whole anecdote for me is just I, I hate subscribing to that model. Right. You know what I mean? I'm just grinding away until I reach this. You know, in other words, what is success? Because really, right now my success is predefined. It's arbitrary. But your success is what you define it as. Not, I guess, what I'm saying at work from a career perspective. So my success is based on resources needed the direction of the company i just find it to be such a you know hey does are you and of course we talked about being visible rubbing elbows networking doing the things you need to do in the organization all i'm saying is it's it's still i just find it to be i'm still at the mercy of someone saying hey this guy he showed up he did the work you know he's networking i think let's you know blah 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 so would you look in the future to say I will downsize everything that I have to be able to do something that I'm satisfied with and not have the luxuries of traveling the world with the finances that I get by um, writing drawing or whatever like that because a lot of times doing what you want isn't what you get paid for on a bi-weekly basis and and that's I think that's one of my big goals now so like next year I just committed I'm committing to myself to go to the Sundance Festival you know what I'm saying go to these go to some of these film film festivals writing whatever and just really try to network and understand the industry um, I want to start getting into marketing and you know doing advertisements because mm-hmm. um, that's pro- that's more I find that to be more low hanging fruit so it's just kind of like you know what I mean no no I get that the satisfaction of just saying you know what let me get away from what the norm is and back to your point of saying hey look I'm not the cool I don't want to be the cool guy I don't want to be the nerd I just want to be me and the things that I like is me and of course you know when you ask people do you you want to be a starving artist the answer is no people like insurance people like (laughs) You know, people do like those perks that come with having, you know, a job, a, a, you know, a decent job at that. Back to the, the starving artist thing. Is, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I don't want to starve. I'm at a point I don't want to starve, but I do like doing what I want to do. Yeah. So another. So basically I have there's only like one of a few options. And ultimately is is use use the position I have now in a you know resourceful way. 
I, you know, obviously be good at the job, do the job well, and, you know, use it to my advantage. So, you know, if I can travel, if I can do that, you know, that's great too. Um, but ultimately just, you know, saving up, going to events, networking, mm-hmm. and hopefully I can just use that skill to, um, you know, to propel myself in a way that I would enjoy. You know what I mean? But that's an investment in time. Remember you said that before. Hey, look, I'm I'm doing this regular nine to five or whatever the but whenever. but if, that's what I have. That's my resource that I have now versus having kids and really getting in that mode. I think I need to do it now versus later. No, now I, 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 I have the time to invest versus mm-hmm. looking back and looking crazy like woulda coulda shoulda. So again, there's there's a conservative way of doing it and there's an aggressive way of doing it. You know, I think your mindset is being aggressive, but on the other hand, you know, I'm not a guy that would retire and just sit around and just travel. Mm-hmm. I still like to do things. Well, I want to when I say retire, I meant that from a from a work perspective. Right, right. So in other words, if I have residual income, that's x amount thousand a month then you know financially speaking you know i should be good you know just living off that so that's what i mean then i can obviously segue into you know shit just going around having adventures right shit, I don't, <laughs> you know fighting crime who the fuck knows <laughs> cooking sandwiches that's true all heroes like, don't wear capes so. yeah like you know like one like it just is dumb but i would just love to go around and roast people like show up and just inappropriately show up in churches. I oh, look at your pastor. Look at his suit. You know, <laughs> <laughs> just make sure your residual pay exactly. and those lawsuits as well. <laughs> Man, whatever, bro. <laughs> yeah, just like oh, just roast. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just, I got you. But it's just, you know, I, I think there's there's just a certain. Um, I, I do I do have a certain like like angst, like ah, you know, like this shit. Or I won't even say. You know, being responsible is boring. Just it's so slow. Like you know, the gratification of it is just so is is relative. Mm-hmm. You know, it's so it's is you know it's just you know it. That's that's being called responsible, and responsibility <laughs> is boring. It is. But at least if you, you know, at least I'm trying to do some self gamification because I'm like, well. <laughs> maybe there's you know what i'm saying you know how can i i do this much okay and then do that mm-hmm. you know what i mean and try to look at it from that level otherwise i'm just in this bitch like Ugh. so let me give you an example so black friday mm-hmm. what did you look at on black friday um really the only thing that because so first of all black friday is supposed to be these are sales that are way cheaper than normal yeah. or ideally. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, let's, let me look at some beats. Mm-hmm. And of course, Best Buy did have some beats like really cheap, but they weren't the color that I want. So I was like, eh, I only had them like in one color. I was like, that's fucking dumb. Yep. Uh, and of course, I go in the store, same thing. So that was a wash. Target had sweaters on sale. So I was like, oh, perfect. My, um, collar shirts, you know, because it's cold in the office. So there was like fifteen dollars sweaters, really nice sweaters. Mm-hmm. Uh, got that, and um, I got like some toys for Toys for Tots. I went ahead because I, just a little quick little rant for all the like, don't buy bullshit ass toys. That shit makes me <laughs> sick. It's the same thing when people like to give like cans, like fucking green beans. Like buy some good cans for the people. <laughs> Why can't like people donate people horse shit? Well, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Donate something that's delicious that you'll want. Don't get rid of don't don't empty your cabinets is what I'm saying. So, but if you empty your cabinets and you got the stuff that you eat, then you can't be judging them, dude. What if they eat green beans? What if well, they eat canned corn? What if they well, eat canned spinach? Which I would all, never do. All I'm saying is do? All I'm saying is I used to receive I was in a position, you know, as a family, you know, back in the day, we had to do what we had to do, but mom would go to the churches and what these places. Mm-hmm. I was like, man, this some of this shit is just come on. Who who who's eating this? So I don't know if these are like older folks, but you know, like for example, cans. Mm-hmm. Usually everybody loves canned pineapples or yep. the, some of the good, you know, canned you know, the the veggies that taste good, the seasoning in it or something. 
you know, like the black people veggies. You know, mm-hmm. is it Glory? I forget the name of the brand. But it's one of them that's like, it's high sodium, right. lettuce taste. But I, I think, <laughs> but I still think you're missing it, dude. What? Because I go into people's house and that's what they have. And you, uh. you telling people they should buy better <laughs> and that's what they have. Uh, I just. Yeah. You, I, know. you see, you just got high standards again. You're saying, hey, look, I know this isn't, you know, there's too much sodium in it. It's bland. You know, why should you be eating something like that? But you got people who's eating that. Uh, well, again, same thing for the toys for tots. I, I bought like some Nerf guns because, I mean, regardless, even, as adults, I find that shit is still, it's, it's fun to shoot a motherfucker with a Nerf gun. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, you know, it's not for everybody, yeah. but, you know, pop, pop, it's not. It's not going to cause, you know, super injuries, whatever, whatever. It but get, it's like a fun. But it can, get well, a kid, it can get a kid shot, though. Oh, no, no. These are the ones that are like bright. These are like neon colors. So mm. they should. Okay. So no, 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 no. This. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, no. Orange and like bright blue. No, no, no. And white. There should, there's a, there should be absolutely no cause for anything. Shit, no, man. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. So but, um, guns and anything that fires a projectile. <laughs> um, and again, I'm not into a, that. A bright orange projectile. So I don't like any projectiles because it gives the sense to children to shoot. And it's fun to shoot. So just because I got you a bright orange and blue hmm. projectile... Are Next saying, time I'm going to look at something, hey, you know what? The movie that I saw showed this Uzi wow. looking thing or a uh, I didn't even thing. I, I didn't even make that connection. Are you saying Nerf guns are an adult toy now? Because so, you have to be able to rationalize it as a toy, not as a weapon? Yep, yeah, because in our uh, society, it's actually glamorized to have certain mm-hmm. types of weapons. And if you take it like the gateway. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Well, you know what? Some fucking kids just got some gateway guns. So whatever. It's too late. <laughs> Damage is done. So, so I got that. And I got like some. Um, Target has some little graphic tees on sale. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, I love my uh, uh, nice little tees. So got those. Right. And really, that was it was pretty. It was pretty boring. Um, the sweaters were most of them. You know what I spent most of the money. I think I got maybe some pants. Mm-hmm. It was again. It was just like really boring, responsible Black Friday. No electronics. So here's the question to you: Did you need yeah. to get them though? That's a great question. I would say, obviously, no. Okay. I, I always have the choice to go to um, Goodwill or something. No, Lately, no, no. I, I, no. I'm saying, did you need to get it because you needed it? Not man, I've was... been, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been, uh, I've been actually wanting to. Um, I've been doing like the last two years, actually. Okay. I've been doing like a slow turnover of my wardrobe. Okay. Um, buying stuff that actually fits. Basically, I've been going to going from baggy, whether it's like personal or like off, especially office stuff, mm-hmm. to to more like slim fit, you know, uh, slim fit shirts and pants. And doing that shit, you know, takes some time because pants are really never on sale. Yep. Especially, it's really easy to get boxy shit cheap. But yeah. if you want like some nice fitting shit, you you know you gotta. <laughs> but you gotta try it on too. I know my sizes okay. and from from shit like if I bought one pair and a certain brand, I can just go in there and buy the same shit. Okay. And maybe some other colors. So. Okay. It's okay. It's, it's, it's this is part of like a slow. This is part of my slow turnover. So, boom, gotcha. those are sweaters. Boom, boom. I could wear those underneath the blazer. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's shit like that. Just and again, just going back to work because I do take. I'm not saying that I don't want my job or anything like that, but mm-hmm. again, obviously perception matters, and yep. I want to be able to dress. You know, dressing well is important. So I asked this not because I'm asking Chaz, because this is not about. What did Chaz do? This is Mm -hmm. about what do people do? And then when we discuss about people in general, people in general don't go to Black Friday because they need it. They go because it's on sale. But it has to be a pretty decent sale. No, it doesn't. 
because you can mm. trick people just no, like how she, people vote. Like, there's you TVs should... that was on sale in September, and there's going to be TVs on sale that's going to be February. in January and February. All but right, because so, but... it's Black Friday, people go out and say, I can buy a cheap TV. No, 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 no. And that's why I didn't get the Beats, because Beats technically were on sale for like two seventy nine. dollars I was like, that's, and that's is, not. This is not about I, you. I know. <laughs> so what I'm what I'm saying to you, what what I enjoyed because you said the right thing is no, I needed some pants. No, I needed some sweaters. But the one thing I really wanted for myself was some beats. And again, the caveat is that's why that's why I mentioned Goodwill or these other cheaper options. It's like my whole thing is I don't want to be walking around baggy and mm-hmm. you know like I hate when you're a professional this shit just doesn't look good not at all like like wear some shit that's you know that fits you well especially I think men especially women can rock like something that's baggy and rock it a certain way mm-hmm. and they wear like a little top under you know what I'm saying women have more options when it comes to fit right but with men you either look like a baggy slob. You just like a, you just like like you just look like shit, a so, bum. So you look lazy. Uh, yeah, like you look, just, you look really lazy because we got versus, guys that come in with baggy khakis on and be like, dude, what? Like you don't know your did size? You just, yeah, do you know your size or did you just lose weight? What what's going on here? Yeah, either way, it's not a good look because yeah, you used to be a fat fuck or you can't dress. Yeah, or well, you can't so. dress. You don't know your size. <laughs> so, so, so you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I I, I got that, but. When I when I look at Black Friday, because I gave up on Black Friday. When I need something, I'm going to get the best option because I'm going to look around anyway. And there's certain things that I just buy if it catches my eye that I need. As before, it was like, now you got that extra TV in the room, but you never go in that room, but there's a TV that's sitting in there. And you mm-hmm. got that only because it was cheap on Black Friday. That's ridiculous. You know what I'm and that's it's wasteful. Just- is 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 uh what's impulse impulse shopping mm-hmm. impulse buy yep and it's just kind of you know it's it's don't fall it's just like do do basic calculations like okay if normally this costs whatever and it's supposed to be x percent off 20 30 40 percent off you know it shouldn't like why does it still seem normal because of course they're gonna say yes yeah, if they increase the price and cut you know give you percentage off then yeah, it's, it's gonna look like a good deal, but yeah. it's it's you know what I'm saying. So yeah. that kind of yeah. shit is just you know we all know the drill. But, don't be a dope. But we all don't know the drill. That's the only reason why I'm bringing it up because there's people who don't know the drill. People just says, you know what? I do need that TV. When when the last time you got a TV? Oh, last year there was a sale on. Didn't you need another TV already? Yeah, it's like where you gonna put it? You got to mount exactly. it. Exactly. It just is. In fact. Like, you know, it was for me, um, and again, uh, I guess my, my context is normally I'm, I'm walk, I can walk from home, I can walk to a train station, and then I can take the train to the job. So when I do that, it, it actually, I do enjoy listening to my music, and that's where, and again, uh, just we talked about earlier, being a writer. Mm-hmm. Those fucking headphones sound really good when you're just in the zone. You're trying to write, block oh, out noise. Absolutely. So from that perspective, man, if you, with me, like I, especially if I'm really trying to work out an idea, mm-hmm. that can literally take me two hours to really work out something. And and in that mo- in that moment, so I, I I really feel like from a use perspective, I would use the hell out of them. So that's why I'm like, it would really be nice versus the ones I have now. They're good, but. They're not, you know, from a certain level, I can kind of see why some of these brands do charge a premium. Right. I'm not saying Beats probably, I mean, their margin is crazy, mm-hmm. but at least like $200 headphones when they're like really have nice, you know, uh, the earbuds, the, I forget what you call them, the leather plush part mm-hmm. when that's like really comfortable and yep. then the noise cancellation is good. They don't and, make your ears numb when you put them on and everything. Yeah, yeah. In fact, in the winter, it's the opposite. It's mm-hmm. almost like ear warmers. So, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? It's just like, it's just like okay, I get it now. You know right. what I'm saying? So, right. that's that's you have to really have a, you know, for me, my plan of attack was, well, what else do I really need? Right. That's like the only little, because I'm, I'm going to be honest, um, for, for wearables, for like a watch, when I came back from China, because um, I had my little Fitbit on, 
I had like a little tan. I was like, oh, that's not attractive. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I, I, Damn. I, was like, I was like, I want my wrist to be regular color. Right, I, like, right. I like my shit to be even. So that actually kind of threw me off the whole wearables thing. There's a, um, there's a ring that I want to try. But of course, it's like two hundred dollars. But oh, it's... that's that thing that my wife wants me to get. It it tracks your yeah. sleep. It does all of that. And yeah, it has just, an app to go with it. Just with yeah, just through the ring form factor and is waterproof. So I was like, oh, wow, this shit looks dope. Like, what'd you think of it? So I, I liked it, but I don't. My watch does all of that. Yeah, but it's a watch. Yeah, I wear watches yeah. all my life. Yeah, how about I just get a regular uh, biometric watch? A uh, regular watch and then get a biometric ring nope that way nope i don't know nope. so you got wrist wrist tan i don't care <laughs> <laughs> if somebody said i got wrist tan i was like the hell are you looking at you know i'm good with looking that at you, uh, I'm looking at your bad tan no i'm looking at your ass looking at my wrist what's what's with you you know what is your problem look at yourself <laughs> god damn it Anyway, no, it's called. Is it the Aura O U R A ring? Yeah, it's um, like two hundred, and then it got like a platinum one, and it got a black one. Yeah, and they you got one know. that looked like a um, wedding band with diamonds in that bitch. Man, fuck that. Oh, That's yeah. what I said. Oh, yeah, what I said. but all I'm saying is, just from a gadget perspective, because I'm a, I'm gonna tell you this. I think my my personal attitude for Black Friday was Apple already. Our, Apple got me. You know, mm -hmm. I, I bought in the hype with this XS, and um, and again, it was it was a very calculated move. So as I mentioned before, you know, we do the table reads, right? right. I, I record the table reads with the iPhone. Now I really had to think about this because I can I can buy, I can always buy like a recorder that has a mic that can I can you know that's like a USB stick. I can record with that shit and then just pl plug it in the computer mm -hmm. or something like that. People use them for class. Right. And I was like, eh, you know, with the iPhone, this is just, it's part of iCloud. So if I lose, you know, if I lose a little recorder, I'm done. Mm -hmm. But with the phone, it's like, well, it backs up. I can send it. I can drop it to the computer. This shit is so convenient. Absolutely. And the uh, microphone and everything is so it's, good and, now. And, and the XS particular. Mm -hmm. Now, we've done a couple, and I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised at how this shit has sounded. Yep. Like the, the recording for the XS when you record a memo, mm -hmm. that shit is like really good. So that works out. Otherwise, I mean, this bitch is like, man, this shit is, it's all right. right. He gets a job done, but you, a stack, that's, that's too much. Right. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not doing, this is, and again, this is part of my one-time thing. Because I was like, eh, I fucked around and got the eight. I was like, man, if I would have got the, the, the X last year. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck about the XS. It's not. It's not a dramatic upgrade enough for me to give a fuck about. No, but that's because just, it had, it's bigger, right? No, the camera is for me is a big deal. Right. The recording was a big deal and had like some another feature. Otherwise, actually, I like the eight a lot. I like the eight size. It was, it was the eight regular eight for me is good, but I didn't know Apple. The the eight plus has the better camera. Oh, yeah. has the same camera, and I didn't. I'm like just make them all the same. Why? What, what? I didn't know they did that. I'm mm -hmm. really I'm a big fan of smaller form factor. I don't need a fucking giant phone. I I, I prefer a human sized phone. Right. But you anyway, know, not a big Samsung phone, basically. Yeah, and the fucking the the regular XS is for me is uh, it's, so it's, I, it's, I passed it's, on everything this year. You know, I'm gonna see what they do next year. Because I, I I love the upgrade in the camera, but just because it's so this new, is, this is doesn't yeah, mean it's because good. it's new doesn't mean it's good. Mm -mm. Because you really have to get something to me now to say what more can I get from this? Because the software is going to be updated anyway. Yeah, so and that's and that's where Apple has an advantage. But again, we're talking about hardware versus software. Mm -hmm. You got to really think about your purchase, and if you're not thinking about on that level to be like okay. What does the iPhone have that other people, blah, blah, blah. Like, you got to go through each individual feature. You just can't be like, well, because to be honest, I'm looking at the Pixel, like, damn. Mm -hmm. Some of those front-facing camera pictures, those shits, I mean, those shits came out. Like, I saw some photos, and mm -hmm. those shits came out great. Yep. So I'm like, well, there goes my whole camera argument, because the Pixel is a beast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they upgraded it every year to make sure that, look, it's worth it. 
to actually upgrade if you take pictures like this. I mean, of course, and those those are, and I'm saying this after traveling because I'm like, damn, I, after traveling fucking China and Korea, I'm like, I would have loved to have had this fucking camera. Mm-hmm. So it's almost like just a, you know, I don't want to be somewhere and be like, damn, I wish I could have captured this and not have the proper device to really do it. Right. Um, because you're gonna the the financial hit of getting the getting the device in the first place versus not having the camera to really capture a moment is just you're always gonna be like oh that's not what happened mm. when you go you know your shit turns out blurry and fucked up you're gonna be like damn <laughs> you know Could've what i'm saying better job with that clearly clearly so you but know the reason why I, I went to the black friday and because that's a yearly thing and everybody and it's getting shitty to do that. oh it's because it's been because shitty because cyber, it's excess it's all cyber about excess. monday is shitty yeah, yeah like this it's, year was ass so it's it's actually it's every year unless you need something. And on that note, we're going to take a quick break and come back to our second half review of the topics that we had throughout the year and kind of close them out and look forward to a couple of other new things that occurred that we haven't discussed and what we should be looking forward to in the upcoming year. See you. See you.